Hi, this is Keith Furrow with the Keith Furrow Team. Um, today I want to talk to you about the question that we often get is uh, how long does it take to buy a home? Now there are a lot of different dynamics that go into that. Now the most important thing is to have the proper realtor and the proper and the best real estate team behind you because it's a coordination. It's kind of like an orchestra where you have a lot of different instruments and a lot of great talented people but unless it's coordinated properly then you just get noise and not music. So that's kind of how you have to look at a real estate transaction. Now the thing is, is okay I want to find a house. How long do I need to, you know, how long do I have? Well, we get people who come in town and they have one or two days and they successfully buy a home. Um, you know, as far as find a home. We get other people who've been looking for two, three, four, five, six months, a year, longer, because their list of uh, parameters are very specific and maybe or maybe not that property is available. Maybe in some cases they're not realistic. So again, a good team is going to be able to ask the tough questions, help you figure out what what are you willing to compromise on and what is your wish list versus your needs and your wants. I mean, those are all different things. We've got to kind of glean through them and do sometimes what we call the Benjamin Franklin, where you split and you do a piece of paper and you put all the pros on one side and all the cons on the other. So that's something that you have to figure, and a good, a good realtor, a good real estate team is going to be able to help you know you ask those questions. Now, the next thing is, okay, um, I found a home, and that assumes that you know if we find a home, how long does it take me to be able to get the keys, move my family in there? I've got to do this because we want to get the kids in before school starts, or I've got a job I'm starting, or this kind of thing. Now, it's going to depend on a lot of things. If you've done your homework, and a good real estate team or realtor has um, got you pre-qualified with an outstanding lender, your credit's good, job stable, they've done that process, and it's important that you have a good lender and you've got that figured out, um, you, then you know the type of loan that you're going to um, have and you've already got the, uh, you're pre-approved, verification of your job's already there, verification of your money's already there, but even with all of that being done, a certain amount of things cannot start or happen until you have an accepted contract. Because under some of the new rules and laws, RESPA rules, uh, they can't do certain disclosures until after a contract has been um, set up and, and, the, um, and the disclosures are provided to the buyer. Now, when we look at sales, um, if you've got a cash sale, I've seen them close in just a few days. Typically, it's one to two weeks. Uh, what's going to determine, do they have the title policy in place? Do you, know, do you need inspections? Um, what, you know, what are the situations on the house? But let's say it's a it's cash sale, it's clean, everything goes real fast. One to two weeks, no problem. Conventional sale is usually about three weeks to a month. Again, that's going to vary depending on the particular lender. Um, and again, it, this has to assume that you've already got all of your paperwork in and they have verification of things. If not, it could take longer. FHA VA right now is around 35 to 45 days from the time you have a contract and probably lean in most cases to the 45. Again, you know, it's going to depend on, you know, a lot of factors. With a good lender, you can usually get it done in 40-45. Um, USDA right now is running 60 or 90 days and that would be a slang called a rural housing loan and maybe even longer because some of their process um, they're not even going to start a lot of that until you've gone through the entire bank approval and then it goes off to them and depending on the caseload and with the sequester and some things that have happened recently um, they're taking a lot longer than they were taking in the past. Now uh, some other things you have to consider is okay I've got my contract and my realtor has negotiated that. Everything's fine. We're all happy with the terms. Now we have inspections. Um, there are anywhere from one to ten inspections necessary on a property. Um, you've got an appraisal if need be. You've got you know repairs possible for an appraisal. Um, then you have to set the closing process up. You've got a survey that's going to be involved. All of that stuff can can take you know the full 40, 45 days depending on and way longer if you don't have someone that has uh, managed it properly and set you up. Now the key to this, like I said right from the beginning several times, is having the best team so this process is low stress on you and it goes smoothly. Um, hope this has been helpful. This is Keith Frill. Have a great day.